Do you want to know how to use and form le passé composé in French without making any mistakes? Well, I have a video for you to help you do that coming up. Hi guys, I'm Pearl and welcome on my French story. So every week you will find here on this channel a new video to help you improve your French, get ready for your French exams and basically get better grades in French. This week it's all about grammar. I'm going to talk about le passé composé. What is le passé composé? When to use it? How to form it? And also, what are the most common mistakes that you probably make? Well, if you want to know, just keep watching this video. The passé composé is a tense of the past. So when you want to talk about an event or an action that happened in the past, the passé composé is one of the tenses that you can use to talk about that event. And this is exactly the problem. It is one of the tenses. So I'm going to tell you how you can do to know exactly when to use le passé composé. You use le passé composé in three main situations. The first situation is when you talk about an event that happened in the past and ended in the past. For example, hier j'ai mangé une pomme. That event ended in the past. The apple was great, but I'm done. I'm not eating anymore. So I'm going to use le passé composé. You also use le passé composé to talk about punctual actions. For example, actions that happened in the past once or twice, but were not a habit. And finally, you use le passé composé when you talk about actions in the past with a limited length. For example, hier, j'ai vu mes amis. Okay, that action happened in the past. I saw my friends for two, three hours. It was a limited period of time, so I'm going to use le passé composé. So in order to form le passé composé, you need two elements. The first element is an auxiliary. So an auxiliary, it's a verb that is helping another verb. In French, there are two auxiliaries. The first auxiliary is être, the second auxiliary is avoir. So you need être and avoir conjugated at the present tense. So let's have a look at the present tense together. So now that we have our first element, let's have a look at the second element you need. The second element you need is a past participle. So a past participle is a form of a verb. So you have different past participles for different verbs. So depending on the group, you are going to have different endings. So if this notion of group and verbs and verbs and groups is not really clear for you, please go and check my video. I made this full video where I explain all the different groups. So go and check this out. For verbs that belong to the first group, the past participle is going to finish with i and an accent. For example, the verb manger. The past participle is manger with a i and an accent. So you also notice here the pronunciation manger, manger. So er and e and an accent or a q are pronounced exactly the same. So please don't pronounce manger, don't pronounce this r. It's manger. Now verbs that belong to the second group. So the past participle is going to finish with I. For example, the verb finir. The past participle is finir with the I at the end. And in the third group, you have basically all the other verbs and they are super duper irregular. So you really need to be careful. So let's take an example. The verb pouvoir. The past participle of the verb pouvoir is pu. Or let's take another example, the verb vivre. The past participle is vécu. So here you see that you can't guess. It's either you know or you don't know. So make sure you know them. 
go on myfrenchstory.com, you will have access of a list of all the irregular past participles. So I will put a link in the comment section box down below. Okay, so now that you know what is le passé composé, when to use it, how to form it, let's talk about the three most common mistakes that you probably make. So the most common mistake that you guys probably make is to use être instead of avoir and avoir instead of être. So please remember, in French, 85% of verbs are conjugated with avoir and the rest are Dr. and Mrs. Van der Trump verbs and reflexive verbs. So really remember that. The second mistake is when you use être, most of you guys just forget to do the agreement. So please do your agreement. For example, if I say, hier, je suis allé à la plage. Je suis is my first element using être. Allé needs an extra e because I'm talking, I'm a girl. So you need to do the agreement. So please, when you use être, do your agreements. The third mistake is to not even using le passé composé. So a lot of you guys, when you talk about an event that happened in the past, you use another tense. And most of the time you use l'imparfait. So people are going to understand what you say, but you are going to sound a little bit weird. And if you do that during an exam, you are going to lose marks. And you don't want to lose marks. So please use le passé composé when needed. So guys, I hope this video was useful. If you still have any questions, make sure you comment in the comment section box down below. Also, share that video with a friend. I'm sure you have a friend that would love to watch that video. So sharing is caring. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel because you don't want to miss anything. That's it for me and I see you very soon for another video. Salut!